Hey guys, Burgundy Woods here with Style Lush TV Home Studio Bound because we are practicing uh, social distancing. I am going on <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, with this is my 10th day uh, of stay home. I know stay home has recently taken over, uh, but the minute uh, I realized that uh, social distancing was something that every individual had to take upon themselves to decide, you know, how they want to react to that. I, I definitely, I sent all the staff home. Uh, we no longer were downtown. I said, just take care of yourself and your loved ones go home. Let's all work remotely from home. Um, and, and this is my 10th day. I did make a quick pit stop last Wednesday to do this Trending Now video downtown and it was like a ghost town. It was just really weird. So uh, yeah, we're all hanging in there. I hope you guys are hanging in there as well. It is a very strange time, but we're gonna bring you some good news uh, so we can celebrate our, our Texas fashion industry and beyond. And, uh, and yeah, so here's what's trending now. Of course, in the midst of COVID-19, we have shared tons of content on how you can support small business. Uh, this is a very, very trending now subject, not just in Texas, but worldwide. Um, our economy is seeing something that we've never really seen in our lifetime. And so if you wanna go on stylestv.com and see how you can support some Texas businesses that are absolutely amazing, Please be on the lookout. Uh, something new for everyone, shop trends from our favorite Texas retailers is up on our retail channel, as well as the fate of the fashion industry in the time of coronavirus and what we can do to help. So those two stories in particular are circulating on stylishtv.com on our trending now board and on the homepage, and you can check out some amazing people. Please support right now. A anything that you can do to support small business is, is I think the number one trend worldwide right now. Um, coming very soon, we are gonna bring a what we plan to do list, <laughs> what we're looking forward to list. And these are people uh, that are gonna give you some ideas on how to pre-buy things or to pre-plan things for when we're all in the safe zone again and can share memorable times with our loved ones. Um, and the list is getting really fun and, and really cool. So be on the lookout for that content coming soon. Uh, also, five viral TikTok fashion influencer, influencers you must follow. So, we're all at home, we're all scrolling more than ever. Uh, online businesses are admitting to seeing a huge spike in people utilizing the internet. Uh, but if you're on TikTok, just so you know, that's where it's at right now. Uh, get online and check out these five influencers if you love fashion. They're really fun, they're fashionable, really inspiring stuff. And, uh, and yeah, check it out on StylishTV.com. Uh, the other thing that we have recently launched that we are so excited about, uh, this is a story, I personally wrote this story, it is about a woman named Amanda, and uh, she is, she's many things. So, she's an old soul uh, with a very modern eye, and what she does falls into the category of jewelry design as well as sustainability, because she takes old vintage finds that are, have, have been tossed out or that are just long lost and she combines these beautiful vintage separate pieces and creates a one-of-a-kind sustainable modern cool piece of jewelry so this is a very uh interesting and eclectic type of couture uh and when we saw her stuff we were just oh my gosh so if you love earth stones if you love vintage if you love chunky bold eclectic pieces uh, i personally saw them and i just wanted to layer everything <laughs> uh, because they were just so lovely uh you're gonna love her then you're gonna love her and then the, the story is called an old soul and her modern fashion art Meet Amanda Argon Hunter of Minx and Onyx. So Minx and Onyx is her company. Uh, our in-house photographer, Sage Thomas, this was our first photo shoot of many to come. Uh, she was there, she photographed it. The pictures are stunning. So check out our new content with our new photographer. All right, other things that you can do if you live in the San Antonio area. Uh, the Pearl. So the Pearl is an area that has become a huge part of our downtown culture. It's a destination for tourists. Uh, amazing culinary scene with the Culinary Institute there. Beautiful, beautiful farmers markets. Uh, and of course, a really nice retail scene. Well, they are seeing some trouble times right now as well. So they are offering curbside pickup. Now, 
the stay at home has been uh, put into place. But as far as we were told recently, people can still buy, drive up, park really quickly, curbside pickup, and go home. Okay, so uh, we want to put that out there. Um, you know, things are changing hour to hour, so who knows? But in the meantime, you can support retailers at the Pearl with the curbside pickup. Uh, so check that out. That is new on our homepage. Uh, more fashion and beauty brands helping in the midst of COVID-19. So if you want to talk about beauty and if you want to talk about some health brands, please check this out. Uh, see what beauty industry is doing to help in the midst of COVID-19. Uh, a lot of COVID, <laughs> I know, I know. But these are positive things that we can do to help. These are all ideas, uh, especially if you live in the San Antonio area, we have a lot of air, uh, stories that'll help you support local. This one in particular is just worldwide brands. These are just big brands who are looking to do some good right now in the midst of everything that's going on. Um, very recently, some non-COVID news, some very cool news. Mama and Legends, an athleisure collection launches to honor Kobe and Gianna Bryant. So yes, this came as a shock to the world, uh, news of Kobe's passing. And we've got the latest. We've got the latest on what's going on with his namesake. And, uh, and it's, it's a very interesting story written by Cassandra Rodriguez on the Stylish Journalism team. So go check that out if you are a fan of Kobe. Okay, so that's about it for now. Uh, we do have our Silver Jacket Entrepreneur Program going on right now. I wanna send a huge congratulations to the six students who made the cut. Uh, so far, we are three lessons in. Now, what the Silver Jacket Entrepreneur Program is the first of its kind in the state of Texas that is specifically designed for fashion community. Uh, so anyone who basically wants to go into the fashion world as an entrepreneur. And what we do is uh, we send out applications, round two will happen next year, and uh, applications get filled out. And if you are an artist who has a fashion product, whether you're a designer, a cosmetics line, a salon, a makeup artist, a photographer, you know, wanting to be a modeling agency, PR, whatever it is in the fashion industry that you want to do, our program helps the art artists who are struggling learn the business side of things, the business foundation. Uh, and so far, oh my God, it's been incredible. And at the end of the year, these six businesses will have their big fashion business breakout moment at Texas Fashion Week. Dates have been solidified for October 6th through the 11th so we're very much looking forward to that um, and, and they will have that moment so whatever category or whatever industry they fall into there are particular days throughout Texas Fashion Week uh, that support particular categories of industry and help uh, people to educate themselves and learn about the industry as well as taking beautiful fashion shows during Texas Fashion Week they will be placed in that specific day and, and you can see them you get to know all about them support their journey uh, and their ongoing contributions to the Texas economy through the fashion sector. So that's gonna be really, really amazing and really great. Uh, you know, send them lots of love and wishes. We'll be launching them very soon on the social media of the Texas Fashion Industry Initiative. You can find us at Texas Fashion Industry. That's the handle. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, uh, keep sending us, you know, things that you are doing to stay afloat. Right now, we are very much supporting, you know, sharing whatever the ideas are that are helping your small business stay afloat. Um, Texas fashion industry members in particular, you know, we have special benefits for you as well during this time. Please continue to send us those things. Um, on that note, before we go, we would like to just send out a little bit of some of the things that they are sharing right now that you can get involved with or you can watch online or you can, you know, participate in. So right now, Ethical Network, uh, they are Texas Fashion Industry Initiative members. So this is our leading voice for sustainability within fashion uh, for Texas fashion industry. And this is a nonprofit. They support small businesses. They support anyone basically who advocates for sustainability uh, within fashion in particular. And so they are sharing all kinds of things, shopping with them online, sharing and liking social media posts is extremely helpful for visibility on our platforms. This helps to widen our reach. So please visit Ethical Network uh, and share their stuff. 
this is an amazing group to uh, support and, and we love you guys. Okay, so Jules Aldaz, she is a stylist and a boutique and like many boutiques right now, they are struggling. So check out Trend by Jules Aldaz. Okay, so she is an online boutique and she's got all kinds of really unique ways that you can support her small business right now. Um, Dora Vera, so Dora Vera says, thanks so much, I'm going to be having a virtual makeup class for teens. If anyone knows someone who has a daughter, they want them to get into makeup, just share my flyer. I will be releasing it soon. So Dora Vera is an extremely, extremely helpful and wonderful makeup artist. She is a member of the Texas fashion industry, a leading innovator in beauty and just super kind and wonderful to work with. Uh, so she will be releasing a virtual class for your teens if they're really getting into makeup and you know they kind of want to learn some techniques. She's a great, a great, influencer and makeup artist uh, to get them in contact with. So as soon as we have that flyer, we'll share it on the feed. What else? Oh yes, Amber Ibarra. So Amber Ibarra, she is a positive platform uh, advocate. She is the chair of positive mindset for the Texas fashion industry initiative, which I think is very innovative and needed in this changing climate of fashion industry. And uh, her podcast, as well as her platform, stresses positive mindset, positivity, how to stay positive in this uh, pandemic that we are having right now. And she put up on here, my podcast launches this afternoon. You can find us on Spotify and iTunes. Our name is The Positive Platform Podcast by Amber Ibarra. On here, I'll be giving tools and insights to building a positive psychology, building a business, and supporting creatives on their journey to success. So please check her out. She is so intelligent, so beautiful, so kind. She's got a great uh, diverse background because she used to be a model. Um, and she also worked in the industry as well behind the scenes and so she has this really nice diverse background uh and she has had a lot of experiences that have helped her to develop this positive mindset so she has a lot of really great nuggets of wisdom to offer so go check her out okay for now i believe that is all we've got tons of people making masks right now so right now that is the big thing we have so many uh texas fashion industry members as well as uh i believe other fashion community that are just putting their resources together and making masks we'll do our best to share everyone that is accessible to the public um, some congratulations you've got contracts to manufacture these on a very a much bigger level congrats to our Texas fashion industry members who got those contracts right now um, but yeah that seems to be a trending thing so if you have a sewing machine just never you know, go for it if you've got the time uh, do something positive it makes you feel really really good and they're not very hard to make you can YouTube it I've seen it they're not very hard to make at all so you know every little bit helps right every little bit helps right now all right guys that's it for now stay tuned for more on style lush tv i'm very excited to say that we will have some beauty content launching very soon uh and so be on the lookout for that with much more things coming your way all right i am burgundy woods until next time stay safe and we'll see you next time bye